That's Abersock behind me. Beautiful day again. I'm heading out to one of two islands. A couple of islands not far from Abersock, which you can see there. One with a building on one not. Called St. Tudwell's East, one of them, and the other one's called St. Tudwell's West. And St. Tudwell's West is owned by a well known TV personality, an adventurer, explorer. And I'm heading out there to have a look, go around it. You can see it there on the right with the, I believe it's the lighthouse on the top. It doesn't look like an island from here, but in a minute it will. You can see the sea around the corner. And on a day like this, it's very beautiful. Stunning weather again, it's very hot very hot on the beach. I've been sitting on the beach for two to three hours already. It's nice and cool on the water but it's very hot on the beach. Conditions are quite calm again. A few waves caused by these uh, boats and the jet skis. It's calmed off by boys here that are tearing about across the cars in a week. So there's the island ahead. I'm going to go round it, circumnavigate round it and have a look. Not far now. The owner of the island, the clue's in the title of the video. I'm sure you've guessed by now. Here I am at St Tudwell's West, as you can see behind me, the lighthouse there and the building. And the famous TV personality adventurer I'm talking about is of course Bear Grylls. Uh, and he bought the island in 2001 for a paltry sum of 90, 95,000 pounds, I believe, 90, 95,000, which back then, 21 years ago, was quite an amount, I'd imagine. It's not his only home, of course. I've seen someone walking on the island, whether he's actually there or not. There's a slipway, a new slipway put in, got planning permission for that, I believe, last year or year before. And someone was walking down to that, I could see from the top of the cliff, so whether that's him or not, I don't know. So I'm going to now have a paddle around the island, have a look, see what we can see. These jet skis are great fun, I'm sure. A bit noisy. As long as they don't come too near you though, because it causes a lot of weight. So that's the new slipway they had built a year or two ago. There's some people on there with a rib, RIV boat. Could be Bear Grylls. I can hear voices, it sounds a bit like him, but it probably isn't. But anyway, but that's the island he owns and visits, no doubt, quite a lot, especially this weather. So that's it. Not quite Necker Island in the Caribbean, but for £95,000, I think I'd rather be here. Probably Bear Grylls would as well. 